Okay, in this video we're going to have a look at estimating values when there's a division by a decimal which is less than 1. So things like dividing by 0 0.5 or dividing by 0 0.2, things like that. But before we start looking at estimating, we just need to quickly recap what happens when we're actually dividing by something like 0 0.5 or 0 0.2. So, let's have a look at this one here, this 1 divided by 0 0.5. What is 1 divided by 0 0.5? Well, another way of looking at that is how many 0 0.5s go into 1? And the answer to that would be 2. Similarly, when we've got 2 divided by 0 0.5, how many 0 0.5s go into 2? Well, the answer to that is 4. So when we're divided by 0 0.5, we're actually doing a times by 2 operation. It's the same thing. Also, when we've got 1 divided by 0 0.2, then how many 0 0.2s go into 1? Well, 0 0.2 is into 1, that's 5. How many 0 0.2s go into 2? Well, that's 10. So when we're asked to divide by something like 0 0.2, then the answer is going to be the same as times in by 5. So now we've got that out of the way, we can now begin to have a look at some estimating questions. So here we have a question where we've got a divide by 0.532. It's a number that's less than 1 on the bottom. And it's an estimate question, so we should start this question like we do with every other estimate question, and that is rounding our numbers to one significant figure. So let's start with 27.35, and I'm rounding that to one significant figure, so I'm cutting that here. And that makes that number, when to one significant figure, that makes it 30. Same with 6.29 to one significant figure. I'm cutting it here. So that makes this number 6. And to one significant figure on 0 0.532, I'm cutting it here. So that makes this number 0 0.5. Let's just rewrite this question to tidy it up a bit so we can see what's going on. On the top, I've got 30 plus 6. And on the bottom, I've got 0 0.5. So the top line's fairly straightforward. That becomes 36, and it's divided by 0 0.5. Now, if you refer back to what I said in the last part, when we divide by 0 0.5, it's the same as doubling. So we're going to do 36 times 2, which gives us the answer of 72. So the estimated value for our original question is 72. OK, here's a question I'd like you to have a go at on your own. Pause the video and then when you come back I will go through the answer with you. OK, in this question I gave you 15.62 minus 3.79 divided by 0.217. So let's start by estimating the digits and rounding them up to one significant figure. So 15.62, well that's going to go to 20. And take away, that's going to become 4. And the bottom to one significant figure is going to be 0.2. Two. So let's rewrite this question so it's tidier. So I've got 20 minus 4 divided by 0 0.2. Doing the top line, I get 16, and the bottom line is still 0 0.2. But when I've said divided by 0 0.2, that's the same as times it by 5. So I'm going to do 16 times by 5. Well, that gets me 80. So the estimated answer to this question was 80. 
Now, don't worry if your answer is slightly different to mine. It all depends on how you've rounded. This is the answer you should have got if you divided it, it rounded to one significant figure. However, there's a range of acceptable answers based on how you round these original numbers. And that's how you estimate when there's a division on the bottom when it's less than 1.